we will demonstrate how to import and analyze data using one-way ANOVA statistics to examine mean differences in three or more groups. Please like share and subscribe JS Academy for getting notifications of the latest videos. A very very good morning to all of you. Now, uh, today I will show you how to use ANOVA in measuring the difference between are more than three groups suppose our research question is is there difference in mean achievement of the cbsc icsc and up board students in mathematics here the students of three boards that is cbsc icsc and up boards students and their scores in mathematics are given we want to examine is there difference in the mean achievement of these board students in mathematics so for this research question the null hypothesis will be there is no significant difference in the mean achievement of cbsc icsc and up board students in mathematics in another way we can write the null hypothesis that is the mean achievement of cbsc icsc and up board students in mathematics are equal for these two null hypotheses, the alternate hypothesis will be there is a difference in the mean achievement of CBSC, ICSC and UP board students in mathematics. In another way, we can write mean of the mathematics achievement of the CBSC, ICSC and UP board students differs. So for this uh, null hypothesis, for the testing of these hypotheses, we can use the SPSS software and the statistics that is ANOVA. By using the ANOVA, we can examine and test the null hypothesis. So I will show you how to we check it using the SPSS software and ANOVA. So we close it and first we fill the data in Excel and suppose the data is filled in the excel here we can see the first column the serial number are given and 150 students uh, 50 students from each boards are uh, assessed in the mathematics score and the maths score are given here in the second column here the 50 students from the cbsc board and 50 students from up boards and 50 students from the ICSC boards are taken in this study. So in the fourth column, we have entered the board ID and that is only coding and one is code for the CBSC board students and two is for the UP board and three is for the ICSC board. So in this way, we fill the data in Excel. Now I will show you how to import this data in SPSS software. We open the SPSS software and now you can see that data is uh, not entered now and the SPSS software is open from the file tab. Here we know that this is the file tab. We can save this data on the system and from a file uh, we can see here the import data is option is here for the importing the data and we click import data and here we can see that the nature of the data is being asked and here we see that the excel uh, is visible now as we know that our file is in excel format so we click the excel our data is in excel sheet and from here we select where the file is stored uh, where the file is saved so on the desktop i have put my data on the desktop so we click desktop and here one file is visible data for that uh, one file of the excel is visible we click it and check whether this file is or not we click it and 
when we click then it will be selected in this box and file name is visible so we click open now we see from here worksheet we can choose the worksheet only one worksheet that is sheet one is available so we select it and then we check it and we see that our data is visible and the same data is visible which is in the excel format and from there we, then we click ok now we close what we see in SPSS data have been entered from here we can see serial number in first column is visible and the mathematics score in the second column board name in the third column and board id in the fourth column <coughs> now to examine the difference and before examining the difference first we check the name of uh, these variables in variable view so we click here the variable view and what we see uh, since we know that we are trying to examine the mathematics score difference in the mathematics score and board id according to the board id that is one two and three for the cbsc up board and icsc board students so mathematics score is visible board is visible and the format type is numeric so it is okay and from here we can change but there is no need to change and since we know that that this is the numeric format so it is okay and width is there width is 3 and 1 it is okay and width 1 is for only just only for coding so one width is okay we can write 1 2 3 4 5 like this and uh, already we have written 1 for cbsc 2 for up board and 3 for ICSC board so only one digit data is required so one width is okay now we see there is no missing and in column right scale uh, measure is important here and we see that mathematics score is in scale format if we click that we can change it in the ordinal and nominal but there is uh, no need to change because the nature of the data is in scale form that is ratio format and in the last uh, fourth that is also category that is nominal but we can change it uh, just like uh, no there is no need to change it because nominal is just only uh, it is measured on the nominal scale that is it it is the categorical type that is one two and three so it is okay so we again uh, go to the data view and we see data is visible here now we want to examine our hypothesis first we again we see uh, what is the hypothesis and we see that for the null hypothesis is there is no significant difference in the mean achievement of CBSC, ICSC and UP board students in mathematics. For example, this uh, we use the ANOVA, one way ANOVA. So we click analyze, we click analyze in SPSS and from here we can see compare and means, compare means and proportions. And in this option, there is an option one way ANOVA. Here we can see one way ANOVA. Again, we want to show it. Uh, first, we click the analyze. Then we go to compare means and proportion. And then one way ANOVA is visible here. And we click it. From in this dialog box, we can see uh, we want to test the mathematics score. So we click mathematics score independent list because this is the dependent variable so we enter this independent list by this arrow uh, using this arrow and again there is factor and uh, we know that the board id is for the factor so we bo click board id select it and by this button we enter this in the factor uh, as we know that board id factor means one two and three 
are three categories for the CBSC, ICSC and UP board students. Uh, and after this, we, uh, we click option and from option we can test the we can use descriptive statistics for the mean median and these things and homogeneity of the variance is here and we should check it for the ANOVA so we click the homogeneity of the variance Wells test is here and uh, the level is 0.95 so we continue it and we see in the post hoc test uh, as we know that ANOVA measures only the difference uh, but this uh, we can't find that where in which two groups there is difference so for this uh, there are so many test is available and these tests depend on the variance nature that is equal variance assumed or equal variance not assumed and 2k test is good so we can click it and uh, uh, for the equal variance not assumed uh, we can use any test and for this we can select suppose we select this test and we click continue uh, but before this we can select the confidence level uh, significance level that is 0 0.05 and for uh, we want to check it at 0 0.05 level so we select 0 0.05 and we click continue so from there necessary options uh, necessary things have been entered uh, have been selected from here one way nova this and now we want to test it so we just only click ok and we see the result in uh, SPSS there are so many tables which are available and from this we can analyze uh, the result in first table we see that is uh, test is for the descriptive statistics and here we see that 1, 2, 3 is for the CBSC, ICSC and UP board and ICSC board is for 3. And Yan is here mean, mean for the first group is 56.12 and mean for the second group is 45.33 and mean for the third group is 50.38. So we see that there is some difference and standard deviation is here and standard error is here and the, for the 95% confidence interval the lower bound and upper bound is visible and the minimum and maximum scores are also visible for testing the homogeneity of the variance for testing the homogeneity of the variance we see that the based on mean median uh, variance uh, Leveni statistics is here and from this we see that the significance interval is here and 0 0.02 is the significance inter significance level and what it means it means null hypothesis is rejected for the Leveni test Null hypothesis rejected means what is the null hypothesis for homogeneity of the variance that is there is no difference in the variance in these three groups but the, since the significance level is 0 0.02 so it is rejected it means there is difference in the variance and so it shows that there is difference in the variance uh, among the groups so uh, we should use um, that test uh, that thing for non-equal variance because from here we conclude that there is variance and this is the main table ANOVA table and from 
this table we can see that between group and within group as we know that ANOVA compares the between group variance and within group variance so sum of the square is given degree of freedom is given and degree of freedom uh, n minus 2 and 3 groups are here so 3 minus 1 that is 2 and n minus k is for within groups and n is 150 minus 3 there are 3 groups so 147 that is n minus k is uh, degree of freedom and the mean score are here and mean square is here and we know that f is the ratio of these two scores and the value of f that is the ratio of mean squares that is 100 1455 and 374 is 3.887 and we see that this value is significant at 0 0.02 the significance level is 0 0.02 since it is less than 0 0.05 it means it is uh, significant difference is there and null hypothesis is rejected null hypothesis is rejected means uh, we reject that there is no significant difference it means alternate hypothesis uh, is accepted yeah will be framed the alternate hypothesis that is there is difference in the mean achievement of the cbsc icsc and up board students we conclude we find the result that there is difference and post hoc test is applied it means if there is difference then we want to examine where is the difference in which in which two groups there is difference so we test the post hoc test we use the post hoc test and uh, we see multiple comparisons are given and from this we can check uh, here two boards are taken two and three one and three and 1 and 2 and the difference for these pairs are considered and the standard error and mean difference are given.